your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Quiet conditions across the Sun Coast. Lakewood Ranch webcam shows a beautiful start to the morning with a lot of blue sky, a few fair weather clouds, and certainly a lot of resplendent golden sunshine coming your way today. So we're looking at uh, pretty quiet conditions everywhere. The local temperatures are coming in at around the mid 70s and in inland areas, upper 70s as you get closer to the coast. We'll probably see these temperatures climb into the 80s before too terribly long. By 12 noon, we'll be near 90. In fact, at 89 degrees, 20% chance of showers then building mostly in inland areas. And then as we head into the three o'clock hour, we max out the rain chance at about 40%. That'll be mostly in inland locations and there'll be fewer storms around than there were yesterday, but there'll be slow movers. So some of them could produce a fair amount of rainfall. As we head into the evening, the showers drift back toward the coastline and everybody gets a chance at seeing some rainfall today. We'll look at about a 30% chance by drive time along the coastline and then everything kind of fizzles out as we head into the 9 10 o'clock time period. Titan radar right now is showing pretty quiet conditions. Not much going on here locally, maybe a drop or two of drizzle in forested areas, but otherwise I don't think we're going to see much this morning during the uh, morning commute. We've got some cloud cover in places to the north and out in Gulf waters, but overland everything looks like it's going to lead to a, a mostly sunny start to the day, helping to boost those temperatures up pretty rapidly. The rainfall future cast shows that mix of sun and clouds. The showers out in Gulf waters kind of dissipate as we head into the morning hours and the land breezes begin to die out. We start to see the beginnings of a sea breeze forming along the other coast early on and push inland to increase the number of showers there. That'll occur by about five o'clock or so. And then those showers drift back toward our coastline where there'll be a pretty good chance of some rainfall. As I mentioned, some slow moving storms in inland areas could produce significant one over over one inch rainfalls. Certainly very, very possible Hardy DeSoto County along the spine of the state. The easterly wind flow will continue throughout the day today due to the location of that high pressure ridge located just to our north. So on the underbelly of that high, the flow around it producing those easterly winds. That takes the east coast sea breeze, pushes it well inland. Showers and thunderstorms then start to build, and those showers are pushed back toward our coastline as we head into the evening. Pretty standard weather pattern for us here in Florida at this time of year. Now, the reverse pattern, which we get about 30% of the time, is with a wind in the opposite direction. Instead of the east blowing wind, we get a west blowing wind. Well, that may occur as we get into Thursday and Friday and this high begins to sink a little bit further to the south. We'll wait and see how that develops, but I suspect we'll see that by Thursday anyway, Thursday, Friday, and perhaps part of Saturday as well. So warm, sunny, daytime highs topping out probably in the low 90s with feels like temperatures close to 100. We'll watch for building showers in inland areas during the middle of the afternoon period. And then west moving storms will bring those inland storms back toward the coastline as we head into the evening. Forecast for boaters looks good. Southwest wind will be rather consistent through the afternoon and evening and fairly light coming in at about 5. We'll look for winds shifting back around to the southeast during the overnight. Light chop, two foot seas. Good day to be on the water, certainly to beat the heat. We'll watch for a 40% chance of rain today, slightly lesser rain chances for the next couple of days. Most of those showers being pushed inland and toward the other coast as we get that bit of a wind reversal. And over the weekend, we'll up the rain chance just a little bit to about 50% both Saturday, Sunday and for Monday as well.